Hey everyone, there is some really cool software that has recently been released. It is called ply.io. It is currently in a beta version, so you can join and test it out. What it allows you to do is add custom buttons across your various platforms like Gmail, Airtable, or just about anywhere else that you perform your day-to-day -day tasks. So what you will be able to do from this custom button is set up a workflow. So in this example today, what I will do is add a custom button to a Gmail email. And when I click it, it will add the information from that email along with the person that sent the email to a smart suite record. So basically what it is going to do is allow me to convert my emails into my day-to-day -day tasks and allow me to track it a lot better than what you do normally in a email. Let's get started here. So what you will need to do is go to ply.io, that's P-L-Y.io, and you'll click the join beta. You'll have to set up an account. The other thing is you will want to download the Chrome extension. So ply Chrome extension. And once you create an account from here, you may be able to uh, click that Chrome extension directly. So once you get that all installed, you will be able to add the Ply add-on. So from here, we will go over to my Gmail account and we'll take an example email and get it added. Okay, so here's an example email. So I will click into it. And from here, as you can see, I already have a custom button added. So this is generated through Ply and through the Ply Chrome extension. So what I will do from here is Go up to the Ply extension once you have it added. You'll click on it and there will be this Create Add-on button. So go ahead, click Create Add-on. Once it opens up, you may have to sign in. So go ahead and do that. From here, you'll have to connect your account. So I already have a connection made, but if not, you'll have to click Connect a New Account and go through the connection process. It is pretty straightforward though. Go ahead, click Continue. Click Add a button in Messages. And this red button over here, you can go ahead and select that. You'll be able to select your different icons here or click the three dotted dots and you can select any other icon. So I'll just select this one, for example. You can color it, whatever you want. There is other design options. And for here, we'll just call this add task. Save and open the builder. Before we start digging in here, what you will need is to set up task manager or some sort of task platform. I'm going to use SmartSuite, but you can do this with anything, Google Sheets, Airtable, uh, SmartSuite like I'm using, or basically anything else that ply.io integrates with. So here's my template. I already have a few things entered in here. I'll just run through this quickly. I have a task ID. It's auto-generated based off of my task name here, the due date here, and I've brought in the auto number as well. Uh, I have a task name, that's just a single select field. I have an assigned to, I'm the only one in this workspace, so they're all going to be assigned to me at the time being. But if you have other employees added to your SmartSuite account, you can assign it to those employees. I have different st statuses, uh, not started, in process, there's a complete, you'll see that shortly, due date, and there's notes, which is a long text field. And then I also have a hidden field that is the email link and you'll see where that comes in shortly so again all that is is a, a url or a link field and then this is a button field as well so that is the structure of the smart suite setup from there once this screen is open you'll go down to get contextual message for testing purposes we will select the one that i have open which is called application and resume so it will bring in that email that you see right here up in the top corner you can name it whatever you want once we click see sample data test again you'll see it brought in all of the information related to that email and we can use it in the next steps so over here as you can see there's the google sheets integration uh, there's monday.com airtable asana there's a whole bunch of different options here for you but I am just going to search for Smart Suite. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to click Create a Record. And then I'm going to have to create a new. Actually, I, I have the 
connection here already, but you will have to create a new connection. So again, connect a new account and just go through the process. It walks you through each step and it's pretty straightforward. So I will collect, select my demos account. And once it finds the information it needs, I can click continue. I'll bring my solution ID, which is task manager and application ID, which is task. So back over here, this is my solution task manager, and this is my app ID task. In the notes field, I'll select it, click get contextual message. So from here, this is all the information that is both on the front side that you can see in the email and kind of in the background of the email. So what I will do is I want to bring in the actual text that was in the email to give me some context in my smart suite app. Uh, you can also add to it if you want. So I can put who it's from. And again, you could create a separate field for this type of information, but I'm just going to add it to my notes field. This makes it pretty straightforward. So from here, if I scroll down, I can find who it was from in the payload. You can also just search from, and it should be there. So I can select the name if I want. And I could also add in the actual email address as well, which is right here. I can continue down. All of this stuff will be stuff that I can change in the Smart Suite application. But for the email link, I will want to add that in there. And that's found in the first step. This is the step that triggers this workflow to begin. Again, I am looking for the URL. So right here, the URL. So if I click this link, as long as I'm logged into the email account that this applies to, it will open up that email. So from there, I can click test step. And if your connection set up properly, it will create this blank task here for me. And that was just a test. So I will delete this and you'll see shortly how it works completely. And the last step in this ply.io workflow, I want to select here, scroll down to browser actions and I'm going to select open a URL a new tab and I'm going to bring in a URL from this create record step that I just added and I'm going to bring in the record URL so once the rest of this process is completed it will open up smart suite for you or again whatever application you're using whether it's Google Sheets or monday.com or Airtable etc and I will test this step as well. And you can see that it brings in the URL that was created by that record. So now that everything is set up, I can go ahead and click publish. And this button will have been added to your email. So every email that you open from here on in, it will have that button there for you. And if it's something that you need to turn into a task, you can do so. So I'll just select this button. So it opens up directly to that record. Now I can add the task name, review resume. From here, I can choose if it's going to be in process or if it's going to be completed, but I'm going to leave it in the not started status for now. Again, it's been automatically assigned to me since I'm the only one in there. We can choose the due date. So I want to do this on Monday. It's added some context saying what this is about, who it was from. You can also add the attachment directly to this if you want to, but for the purpose of time, I did not add that step in there. And you can click the open email button. This is the email that I had selected the add task button. So that pushed all the information to SmartSuite and opened it up directly in my browser. So now I can click save here and the task has now been added to my task list. I can see what is in progress. I can see what has not been started, the due dates. Now let's say if I completed one of these tasks, I can go in, select it, select complete, and it will move down from this view so that it's only showing me the relevant information that I need to see. So that's basically it. We have added this button here using the ply.io Chrome extension. It will allow us to customize a workflow. This is just one of many, many examples that we could work through. What it has done is added the information to a task record within our task management platform. And that is basically it. It's really simple, really straightforward. 
if you have questions, there is some documentation that they are continually adding and building on the ply.io website. But if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out, send me a message, or you can book a free consult with me, a 20 to 30 minute call, and I will help you out, walk you through some of the steps and get things rolling for you. The link is in the description below. That is it for this tutorial and stay tuned for many more.